Come on up. Come on up. Yes. What, what's, what's your name? I'm Gene Gold. Hi, Gene. Come on, come on up, Gene. Um, I don't have money for glasses or contacts, so for like the last year, you know, as poor folks, we laugh at the worst jokes because this shouldn't be funny. Last year, this year I'm thankful because Emily Cook gave me her eyes, and so I've been wearing Emily Cook's contacts uh, for the last year, but last year, this is, this is a step up from last year because last year I wore two left eye contacts for a year. So I feel like at least now, uh, I, well, I could at least see you motion. <laughs> so no disrespect, seeing is an issue. And no, I've had enough people say, well, why don't you go get those dollar store glasses? Well, you know what? They don't work at my age. Okay. Come on. Uh, excuse me, hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gene Cornwall. I have a Gene, we want Gene. you to, yes. Um, I have a documentary on YouTube that I wanted to get pulled up if mm -hmm. anyone, because um, I'm a recovering addict. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I'm against uh, gun violence in Philadelphia. Okay. So if, if he is can. This uh, the, is this Here's a short okay. uh, video of That's my right. testimony. Okay, perfect. But anyway, I... Can, I, you, can you do a performance and then when we come back, we'll do the d video yeah. to begin with? Uh, I'd rather do that one first. Okay, do that one first. Because <laughs> I had to get this one played. It's, I, it's on CD. It's called Put Down the Guns and Pick Up a Book. Awesome. It's, it's, how long is the documentary? It's about it. two minutes. But is it is some way you can get this plate? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'd like to thank everybody um, for, you know, coming out. And uh, my friend, uh, Emery Moore, uh, calling me, Charles Moore, calling me here to um, represent myself and, um, and see what y'all people do. And y'all jurors, I, I really appreciate y'all accepting me to come, too. Because um, I am I was homeless in Philadelphia for maybe three years when they was building a Marriott in Center City. I lived out there with the rats, you know, uh, bombs coming past, knocking over my uh, little stuff I had. Because uh, I started my own little car wash business since I, I was unemployed, homeless, and on crack. I was... Uh, so I had my own world out there. Nobody wouldn't mess with me. I had a little uh, scaffold that was next to a building. I put a carpet on the top of it and a, a board against the wall and some plastic where I, I slept. And I, I continued this for like three years. And um, finally I uh, decided to get myself together. If you look up YouTube, Gene Caldwell, Happy Ever After. Uh, that's my documentary I made uh, here in Philadelphia. And um, uh, like at, I was at uh, A Thousand Poets for a Change and I sung my little uh, CD that I made. And um, I'm just, I ain't no real rapper or nothing, but it's just a message I want to get out to my young brothers. Put down the guns and pick up a book. Mm. You know, uh, like, like they born on the streets and raised on the corners. You don't want to find your body picked up by the corner. You know, they're young at the age of six, they having fun. At the age of 16, now they're on the run because they didn't kill someone. You know, put down the guns and pick up a book. This is my message to the young brothers of Philadelphia uh, and against gun violence. And um, I really, uh, no, we need to change this thing about the young kids getting out there on them corners and, and um, trying to sell their souls to the devil, you know, and then somebody give them a gun, then they think they, they you know, they got superpowers. They want to talk to adults, disrespectful. You know, all these bus fights in Philadelphia, 
you know, people need to start, you know, looking after our, our brothers and sisters these days because, you know, like in schools, you know, they're cutting back on everything. Look, the little girl died. You know, look what her parents thinking. You know, why, why are they cutting so much stuff that, you know, our children dying young? You know, she ain't even have a future. She had a future ahead of her, but she, she don't have it no more. It's gone. It's taken by somebody uh, um, just uh, saying that we don't have enough for this right now. We don't have enough for this right now. Why? You know, uh, that could be my grandkid. I got twin granddaughters and twin daughters. And um, I thank God that I'm sober today, that I can play with them and I can play with them because where, when I was messed up, my daughters, they were scared of me. But my grandkids, they love me. And, I'm, and, I, and I thank God for that, that he saved me. He gave me a second chance at life, you know, to tell my story. And like when I go to NA meetings and stuff, I share my story. And let them know it's not easy. And like when that sister testified where, about her virus, and now my sister I lost to the virus. And I have a song. It's called "Find My Hat," and it's it's about AIDS. And, I, and like you don't have to get it. It's a way that you protect yourself and everything. But you know, if you don't read the word and have faith in God, you know, no one be able to save you from nothing. But you can live, you can live on with your faith, you know, just keep strong and pray, read the word, have faith and believe in it. That's the problem what people don't have. They don't believe in it because they can't see nothing happening right at that time. But the Lord knows what he's going to do for you. You just hold on and be strong. And thank you. Uh, it's Gene Caldwell, G-E-N-E-C-A-L-D-W-E-L-L. Happy ever after. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I started in doing crack when I was in my baby. Yeah, this is where me and my sister sat when we both was homeless. We both was on the homeless team. And like, I come through this block and like right there with her. So uh, he didn't get in trouble, but he, he just he worried me to death. I, he'd come home late, I was worried if he was going to be all right. And I heard the gunshots, and now uh, was that my son? I didn't know. I used to go down in that hole right here. This hole right here is like, it, it was like a steam vent. I used to lift this up and go down in here when it's cold out and, and, and keep my heat. And like, all the rats used to be out, coming out. And I, every night, I come right back to the same block. This is my home. Like, That's what you love. Wait, 
basically all the homeless come when they move from place to place. I met Gene about 14 years ago. He was still on his addiction at the time. I didn't know it. But um, we hung in there. He went to a rehab for like a year and a half, got himself cleaned up. And ever since then, we've been together. We've been engaged for like 12 years now. I want to praise God first for keeping me safe when I was out in the street. Thanks to Ready, Willing, and Able, I'm stable today. I have a home, I have a job, and I'm working, and I, and I pay car insurance. <laughs> Thanks to Ready, Will, and Able, I'm not an addict no more. I'll always be an addict, excuse me, and I'm not homeless no more, and I'm drug free. We always sit right here on these same steps, drinking our 40 ounces, laughing, smoking joint, getting high, whatever, you know, uh, up in the corner and all that. Doing, you know, our, our crack and stuff like that. But I love my sister and I surely miss her, you know. And I hope she's looking down on me now and seeing that I'm sober and clean. Right, sometimes we live in the park, you know, and we, we live in a home, some of us, some of us never had a home. Some of us like grew up out here. I've been out here over 40 years. Right on. Me and God's child knowing that God loves me and loves everybody in the world. God took care of all the world. God made the world. God made me and you. God made everything in existence. God is a powerful God. I love God to death. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We want Gene, you to, yes. Um, I have a documentary on YouTube that I wanted to get pulled up, if mm -hmm. anyone, because um, I'm a recovering addict. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I'm against uh, gun violence in Philadelphia. Okay. So if, if he is can... This uh, the, is this the, the short one? Or? Here's a short okay. uh, video of my testimony. Okay, perfect. But anyway, I... Can, I, you, can you do a performance, and then when we come back, we'll do the worst jokes, because this shouldn't be funny. Last year, this year I'm thankful because Emily Cook gave me her eyes. And so I've been wearing Emily Cook's contacts uh, for the last year. But last year, this is, this is a step up from last year because last year I wore two left eye contacts for a year. So I feel like at least now, uh, I, well, I could at least see you motion. <laughs> So no disrespect, seeing is an issue. And no, I've had enough people say, well, why don't you go get those dollar store glasses? Well, you know what? They don't work at my age. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Uh, excuse me, hi. Uh, hey, gentlemen, I'm Gene Cornwall. I have a video to begin with. Uh, I'd rather do that one first. Okay, do that one first. Because I, I had to get this one played. It's, I, it's on CD. It's called Put Down the Guns and Pick Up a Book. Awesome. It's, it's, how long is the documentary? It's okay. about two minutes. Okay, so hmm? it's going to take a minute or two to get it. But is it is some way you can get this played? Mm-hmm. Uh. Come on up. Come on up. Yes. What, what's, what's your name? I'm Gene Corwell. Hi, Gene. Come on, come on up, Gene. Um, I don't have money for glasses or contacts, so for like the last year, you know, as poor folks, we laugh at them.